In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the LCN 6440 Compact Automatic Operator. After watching this video, you will be able to check that the closer and opening are ready for the operator, install the mounting plate and gearbox, calibrate the operator, and test the operation. These are the tools you will need. Prior to installation, confirm the opening is suitable for the compact automatic operator. First, remove the closer cover and visually confirm the sticker on the spring tube indicates the closer is an LCN 4040XP or LCN 4041. See the instructions to confirm that your closer arm type and options are supported. In this video, the closer is an LCN 4040XP with a regular arm mounted on the pull side. Check that the door swings smoothly in the opening and closing cycles and the closer is secured firmly to the door. Measure the width of the door and confirm that it is no greater than 36 inches. Confirm that your door does not weigh more than 185 pounds. As a reference, most 3070 doors weigh around 120 pounds. If you are unsure, contact your supplier or call Allegiant Customer Care. If the door opens to a wall, confirm there is at least three and three quarter inches clearance between the door and the wall. Ensure the closer is operating properly. Open the door fully, release, and observe the closing speed. If the door closes too quickly, Decrease the main speed or latch speed or both to help slow down the door. If the door closes quickly but then slows down abruptly just prior to closing completely, decrease the main speed. If the door closes slowly but then speeds up abruptly just prior to closing completely, decrease the latch speed. When making any adjustment, ensure that you do not back the screws out too far. Once you feel resistance, do not back out the screws any further. Check the spring power is set at 2, 3, or 4. Determine how you will provide power to the compact automatic operator at the opening and make any necessary preparations according to your local electrical code. You can use the included plug adapter to provide power or an external power supply. See the instructions for more information. Please note, if installing the compact automatic operator on a top jam mounted closer, the included door loop is not needed. The door closer must be secured with through bolts. If the fasteners are either wood screws or self reaming and tapping screws, replace them with the through bolts included in the box. Remove the hex bolt and disconnect the forearm from the shoe. Remove the four mounting screws from the closer body and remove the closer. Use a combination square to transfer the four hole locations to the other side of the door. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes in the four marked hole locations from each side. Drill the through bolt holes with the 3 8 inch bit. Insert the through bolts through the opposite side of the door. Reinstall the closer and secure with the four machine screws. Reinstall the forearm and shoe assembly. Before tightening the hex bolt, ensure the forearm is perpendicular to the door. In this video, we will install the compact automatic operator on a multi-stall restroom entry wood door where the line from a power supply has been run to the frame and the 8310-2210 wireless actuators will be used to actuate the operator. Remove the closer cover and clip if necessary. Remove the pinion screw from the pinion and install the included hex bolt and washer. 
tightened to 130 inch pounds with the torque wrench. Install the mounting plate on the bottom of the closer and secure with the two screws. Tighten to approximately 30 inch pounds. Ensure the plate is flush with the door as shown. Push one end of the door loop into the door loop hook until it snaps into place. Hook the door loop to the operator on the end closest to the hinges and closest to the door face as shown. Install the gearbox onto the mounting plate. Ensure the pinion is fully engaged. If the pinion does not align with the gearbox, open the door slightly to aid alignment. Press the gearbox firmly and completely against the mounting plate. Secure with the two screws. Tighten to approximately 30 inch pounds. Please note, do not force the gearbox onto the pinion and do not use the screws to draw the gearbox up to the plate. Inspect the gearbox to ensure it is completely flush with the mounting plate and closer. Attach the switch assembly to the spring tube, pushing until it snaps into place. Position the assembly to fit the notch of the cover. When using wireless actuators, attach the receiver beneath the spring tube as shown. Ensure placement will be inside the cover when installed. Please note, when routing wires for power actuators or the fire alarm system, ensure there is enough wire to allow for flexing when the door is in motion. To attach the door loop to the frame or a wall, end caps are provided in the box. See the installation instructions for recommended locations and drilling dimensions for the end cap you intend to use. For this installation, we are using the through frame end caps mounted to the face. Please note, locate the end cap eight and a half inches from the bottom edge of the frame head for a parallel arm and six and a half inches for a pull side mount. Remove the terminal block from the operator. When connecting a wireless receiver, consult the installation instructions to determine how your receiver should be connected. In this video, the receiver's power wires are connected to pins 2 and 3, and the signal wires are connected to pins 4 and 5. If the compact automatic operator will be connected to a fire alarm system, wire the fire alarm relay contact according to the diagram in the instructions. In this video, the operator will not be connected to a fire alarm system so the included jumper wire will be installed on pins 6 and 9. Wire the conductors from the motor enable switch to pins 7 and 8. Wire the power supply or wall adapter conductors to pins 1 and 2. If you will use the wall adapter for power, ensure the wires pass through the stress relief slots as shown. And when plugging into the outlet, use the included security screw to secure in place. The compact operator must be calibrated before programming. First, open the door, release, and observe the closing. Make adjustments to the closer as necessary. With the door fully closed, press the cow button twice. You should hear the operator beep twice and see the cow light blinking blue. Open the door to your preferred fully open position. It should be between 70 and 110 degrees and at least a half inch from a wall or stop. Hold the door here until you hear a beep. The cow light should now be a solid blue. Calibration is complete. Confirm the power and cow lights are solid blue 
and the actuate and fire lights are off. Turn the motor enable switch to the on position. Actuate the door and observe the opening. Depending on the door weight, it must take at minimum between 3 and 4 seconds to open from 0 degrees to about 80 degrees. See the chart in the instruction sheet to determine the minimum opening time for your door. In this video, the door weighs approximately 150 pounds, so the opening time is set to 3 and a half seconds. To change the opening speed, press the Open Speed button as shown. There are five speeds available. Then actuate the door and verify the opening speed. Then observe the closing speed and ensure the door closes smoothly and completely. Make adjustments as necessary. If the compact operator is connected to a fire alarm system, coordinate with your fire alarm service to ensure the operator does not actuate if the fire alarm system is active. If the desired opening degree for the operator is greater than about 70 degrees and the operator struggles to open the door past 70 degrees, decrease the back check. Finally, open the door manually and ensure the door opens smoothly and closes completely. To complete the installation, install the cover and secure with the two screws. Ensure the motor enable switch aligns with the larger notch and that the door loop passes through the smaller notch of the cover as shown. Be sure to install the provided low energy operator labels onto the door as required by code. For assistance, contact Customer Care at 877-671-7011.